MPs and human rights lawyers raise concerns that lockdown laws are curtailing the right to protest. It follows controversy over the way police have managed recent protests amid the lockdown. Here's NTD's Jane Well with the story. Officers face criticism over the way they've handled protests during lockdown. But the root of the issue is the lockdown measures, says this Conservative Member of Parliament. This House criminalised the freedom of protest. This House, us. Not Dame Cressida, not the Metropolitan Police. We did. We criminalised the freedom to protest collectively. We are up to our eyeballs in this. Does the Home Secretary, my right honourable friend, agree with me that now is the time to decriminalise freedom of protest? Not tomorrow, not next week, but this afternoon, this evening. Let's get people back on the streets. Let's allow people to get things off their chest again. Protest is a safety valve. The Home Secretary responds that pandemic restrictions should continue to be followed. She said that the freedom to protest is the cornerstone of our democracy, but large gatherings are not allowed during the pandemic. Members of Parliament are due to have a vote before Easter on extending the Coronavirus Act for another six months. Barristers like Salish Mehta are concerned about people's rights, such as the right to protest, being taken away through emergency legislation. COVID-19 has been often rightly used by governments to limit and restrict the freedoms that people have for the common good. But it's also been used in a number of countries as a cover to take power from ordinary people, take away their rights uh, and, and be given to the state and uh, to be deposited within the state. Uh, and that includes not just the rights to protest and demonstrate, but also um, personal rights about uh, your image, you know, the number of cameras, what happens to the information, the track and trace information, what eventually will happen to that. The government's new crime legislation that passed its second reading in the Commons includes changes to protests. Police would have the power to restrict the times of the protest and noise levels, with those rules applying to demonstrations of one person. Jane Warrell, NTG News, London.